Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 3 episode 8 of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is The Worst Day Since Yesterday. And yes, uh, I am here ready to enjoy uh, this new episode. As you can see, I'm doing a binge. Uh, today I'm going to watch, well, I have already watched episode 6, 7, now 8 and possibly episode 9. Uh, I think I have the time because I have started very early just so I can be able to post this. So I hope that you guys enjoy, especially if you're on Patreon. If you're on YouTube, things are differently. You have to check the schedule so you know when the next reaction is, uh, is going to be posted. But if you're on Patreon, you get episode after episode after episode. I have done a bench on Friday. Today's Monday and I'm ready doing another one and probably I'm going to continue doing this for One Tree Hill season three. So continue supporting for more. Thank you to everyone who's supporting my reactions, both on YouTube and Patreon. You guys are fantastic. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys join me for this entire ride with nine seasons for this show. This show has nine seasons, uh, but I am going to enjoy every single second of this amazing show. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go to Patreon to watch the full extended version for this reaction and get early access, uncut reactions. You can also like get this binge watch things. You can watch the episodes with me like after episode after episode. I already posted two episodes. I'm about to post this one as well as soon as I'm done. And then episode 9, hopefully. So, for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's just begin with Season 3, Episode 8 of One Tree Hill. Chris oh, Keller? So, yeah. Lucas actually saw? Yeah. Oh, Chris Keller? Chris Keller? Stop saying yeah. his name. <laughs> you know how charming he can be? <laughs> Peyton's about to, like, slap someone. Just slap him. <laughs> I mean, you're good with words. Pain, Lucas. <laughs> you're good with Please. pain. <laughs> Wait a minute, at least I have my clothes. <laughs> Bet you wish you could have said that last night, huh? <laughs> I love it. Too soon, but I love that. I love that. I like singers. Punch him! Punch him! Punch him! Yes! Thank you! Thank you! You deserve that, bitch! I like to think that is hitting you. Keith, he's a unemployed mechanic from Tree Hill. Oh Keith, my hello. god! On the air. It's Dan! Yes, I have a question for Mrs. Rowe. It's Dan, this I'm bitch! Sorry. So I will have to forgive her her misplaced vote and her taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, Didn't you have a child out of wedlock? So, so what? Yeah. Do you think that this is the 1920s? You idiot! Yes, she had a son with you who you don't care about. Oh, this bitch. I swear to God, I'm about to put, like, I'm going to put another hole into his asshole. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Like, <sighs> she has to take pride for being a single mom. Okay, she has raised him well. I can. How, how about we say, didn't your son, the one you raised, got emancipated uh, uh, from you because you're a total bitch? I'm sorry, but if he wants to play di dirty, I can play dirty. Is it true that even though your your um, business went in, went up in flames, you didn't even burn because you're used to the flame? Because you're from hell, you know? Because he's the devil. I, I don't. I know that I don't need to explain my joke, but like, he gets me so fired up. <sighs> he calls Keith a, a broken mechanic. Like, a, mm. <sighs> I hate Dan so much. Who is raising her child to be a responsible man? Yes, Unlike true. The boy who fathered him. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> pain. This doesn't feel like we're getting out, Mom. It feels more like we're staying. You should be able. You know what? The thing here is that she also treats him like a child, and like he should be. She should be able to say, you know what, Nathan? This is what your father is making me do. So. That will take Dan's power over Nathan, you know, if she's honest with him. Any designs and profits that you made for the store belong to the store. What, what the fuck? You for when you took the job. That doesn't mean I read it. <laughs> Just quit. Just quit. Disappointing. Then I am upset. Yeah, well, do you remember that you mistake. made okay, a mistake like too? Did, and she forgave us. She made it perfectly clear that we were non-exclusive. I made the mistake of thinking we were meant to be with each other. Oh, she really messed up. 
chair about anyway. Oh, come on, Lucas. Oh, old coach guy? Coach Kara. <laughs> and shh. Okay, fine, but, um. But what? And that'll free up Lucas on the wing. I said. <laughs> shh. <laughs> but that was actually good. No, actually, that's not bad. <laughs> Let me guess. You or Tim? <laughs> After our so-called date, I thought you might like it. It's oh, because he's gay? Oh, worse. my God. Could say dyke. <laughs> that is true. Oh, prunk. Dan is everything to me. I trust him. <laughs> this bitch. Trust him. There is no better candidate for mayor. Me too. Yeah, me too. About as obvious as a black door on the side of my house. Yeah, exactly. You know, a customer once told me that the best way to get over someone was to get under someone else. Wait, what? Don't say oh that. Oh, God. I just realized what that meant. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Karen. I love Karen because she's like, she's very young, yes, but like she has no clue how the kids talk nowadays, you know? And she's like, I love her. She's such a mom. I love her. Told her about my letters? I can't believe you didn't tell me. <laughs> I didn't tell her. She went over right the mouth from a <laughs> Wait, no, okay. right. All right, not a point. Pass the ball to Nathan. You're such a disgusting person. Oh, just again. I really hope you get hit by a truck. I just need the $500 Nathan owes me. $500? Oh my God! Don't, don't say that. Well, since I'm my son's bank, you mind? I'm helping to record again. Still my biggest fan. <laughs> Before you go, maybe you want to talk about making some real money. Oh my God! I fucking hate you, Chris. He so cut his money. hair. Look at him. Look at him. Thanks for your concern, but how about you mind your own business? He cut off his hair, right? His hair was different before. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it? 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 Here. Shit, he looks adorable still, you know? Your marriage sucks. <gasps> Fix it. Ooh. He went for it. He went what. for it. Just forgive her, man. <laughs> she loves you. And I'm gonna hide inside the locker room to get a look at the master. <laughs> GG Silveri, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Blondie? Punch him. Oh. Oh, yes! Thank you, Peyton! Thank you! My queen! My queen right there! My queen! I fucking hate that this bitch enjoyed it, Dad. I actually enjoyed it as well, but like, yes, Peyton, do it again. I'm gonna repeat that part. Please, Brooke's been calling me Peyton Marie Sawyer. PMS. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I'm just. <laughs> oh, he put it back. Oh, he's sticking it out. I mean, he can play with that. Cheerleaders. God loves Chris Keller. <laughs> He's such an idiot. You're Rachel. Make fun of pathetic old guys coming high schools for girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk to losers. Bye. <laughs> Stop it, Biffin. Oh, At the end of this season, I'm retiring. Oh, Whitey. Now, you boys, because that is how I intend to end it. Let's go. <laughs> that was so amazing. I want to hug you. <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> for, for the guy his ass kicked in last season, last Starting episode. For your A child, look at him, yes! <laughs> Fuck off. With them and Lucas, he was distracted. Yes, baby! Yes! My boy right there, my boy! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Leave him alone! Yeah, 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 Get leave him alone. Here, Danny. Oh, he will do it. He will do it. He has nothing to lose. How about someone talk about that? You know, about the fact that he abused... Oh, get out! Rachel! Hey, can I get a ride? Yeah, let's go. I hate this because it was first Lucas following Brooke. Now it's Brooke following Lucas. Can you guys, like... <sighs> they need to stop. I'm better than that. And I know it. Go for you. And you can figure it out too on your long walk home. <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind. I love her vandalism mind. <laughs> that was so cute. That was so cute. <laughs> what the hell is Peyton doing? Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yes, yes, yes! Expose his ass! Expose his ass! Yes! Not very mayoral, is it? No, no. I don't want Karen to come all like, oh no, I don't want to, I don't want to stay to like, be at his level. Do it, okay? This way he might never touch Nathan or Lucas ever again. Why not now? And where you but stand? Throw the. This is wrong. This is not fighting against your. This, like, this is literally condemning you. Okay, guys, that was the end of season three, episode eight of One Tree Hill. And. I just. I can't, okay? This episode was amazing. And hear me out. I cannot believe that Brooke slept with Chris. You know, and I can't believe how complicated everything is. Um, right now, you know, I could just say, oh, you know what, Lucas, just get over it. You know, um, you cheated on Brooke last, se like, last two seasons. You cheated on her with her best friend, so you're not allowed to talk. But I don't think that that's what what's necessary to say here. Because, yes, he made a mistake. Yes, he's upset right now. He's upset because she he really cares about Brooke, you know? And he has been trying really hard to do things right with her, you know? When she's watching, when she's not watching, she, he has really been trying. So, of course, you have to be disappointed that the person you thought it was the one doesn't really take you serious, you know, or like might not feel the same things you are feeling for that person. So I feel like it's totally understandable that he feels like, like, what the hell? I mean, come on. I, I am here, uh, giving you my heart and you're just playing with it. You know, it might, it, it feels like that because it feels like, uh, Brooke has been uh, uh, doing that, you know? We know that it's not like that. We know that she's been very guarded and that she just doesn't want to uh, let herself, you know, uh, go to that place with Lucas again because she's afraid. And everything that she has done up until this point is because she's afraid she might get hurt again. She got hurt really bad when he cheated on her with Peyton. So... Of course, right now, she is just, she was trying to guard herself, you know, and she made a mistake. And this is the wonderful thing about this show is that every character makes mistakes. You know, they make mistakes. They're human, but it's just, it's the way on how they overcome this that, that really make you fall in love with the character. Like last season, I was pissed. At Haley, at everything that Haley make uh, made uh, Nathan go through, but then you know I think about it. Then I see her here, and you know it's kind of like I understand, you know, and kind of like okay, I, I guess she deserves to have a second chance because nobody's perfect, you know. And that situation with Chris, it's honestly I do feel like Chris took advantage. Of Brooke, she he saw how vulnerable she was, and he knew that if he like said one or two really cute things uh, at at her ears at her ear, she might will she might have slept with him, and she did at the end, you know. But the truth is that he he took advantage of her of her, how vulnerable she was because of of Lucas because she thought oh she's with with Rachel and like something might happen because he has done this in the past and you know it, it she she did something she didn't want to do you know um and she made a mistake and now she has to learn how to cope with that and how to move past that you know and maybe I feel like eventually um Lucas will will try you know to understand her I don't think that we're gonna go a season with them just fighting. I don't think so. So I have high hopes that they will, you know, uh, understand each other uh, eventually and get together, to be honest. Um, yeah. Then you have uh, the basketball game, you know. Um, they have, you know, last season, it was a perfect season. 
It was a perfect season for the Ravens where, you know, they won game after game and they lose the last one, you know? And while it's amazing to have a, like, a, 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 a good batch of, of undefeated uh, games and that, you know, gives you some type of, like, um, um, honor to it. I don't know how to put it, but, like, you know, it's pretty cool. Oh, it comes the team who is undefeated and, like, it inspires a little bit of respect as well, you know? So, but I think that starting this season losing is going to do a lot more for them than, because they, they will work harder, you know? Um, I still don't like the fact that Nathan and Lucas are fighting, but I think that it's the nature of how the personalities that they have. Also, they're brothers, you know, so, and they're brothers who sadly have not grown together, but they are in such a big, important point in their lives, you know, that sometimes it's difficult to, to share, to talk and everything, you know, and both are being stubborn. Nathan a little bit more than, than Lucas because Lucas was trying really hard. Um, but I, I, I wish that they could go back to like being supportive and everything, you know? Um, I am, I'm also glad the mouth, you know, the reporter, he record freaking Dan abusing Nathan in like the, like, I don't know how mega, how many megapixels <laughs> did that camera had, but at least you can recognize who is who. And I love that. I love, love that because you can expose him for who he truly is. He's like selling like family values and things like that. And he put a vase just so he can like hit, uh, uh, what's her name? Karen? No, Deb. On, in the head, thankfully she, it didn't happen. He could have killed her or like break her head. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about anyone. I mean, he's letting his own son die. He doesn't even give a damn, you know? And not even the heart attack, not even being burned alive has made him turn into a better person. Like if that didn't turn him into a better person, nothing will. Like we know this. So, the thing is here that um, I hope that Karen doesn't go like, oh, no, hi, I'm mighty. Oh, no, I'm not going to use that because, you know, I'm better than that. I fucking hope she doesn't say that because if she does, then she's dumb. Okay? I really hope that, that they use it and they, you know, uh, reveal to everyone, you know, expose him for who he really is. He's an abuser. He's just a pathetic piece of shit who likes to abuse and, 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 and destroy the people around him, you know? So hopefully he does that. He, she does that and expose his ass, you know? Um, yeah. Anyways, then the Haley Nathan moment when he called her, that was so sweet. And I feel like little by little, they are coming back to being the Nathan and Haley that I love because I love them. I love them so much. I love them like they. <laughs> I can't believe that they are so adorable, you know. And they're coming back, and like the love that I have for for Nailey's coming back. I don't feel okay with the fact that you know, um, um. I don't feel okay with the fact that Haley left with Chris and kissed Chris. I'm, I mean, I'm not okay, but I'm glad that they, we are seeing this entire arc where, you know, Haley is making amends for the things that she did. <sighs> I love it. Um, what else there, is there, there to talk? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I love it. I love this episode. I think it was great. I think it was it was it was perfect. I loved it. I love, love, loved it. As every other episode of One Tree Hill, you guys know how much I love this show. So there's not much to say there. I love it. Um, but yeah, either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction. I hope you guys continue to burn for more. I might might be able to squeeze one more episode just because I, I, I just want to, you know, I just want to watch it. I want to watch it. So I'm going to try to do one more episode. Oh, also, I hate I hate Chris Keller. I hate him. He's annoying. Yeah, he just like he annoys me so. And now he's working with Dan. Like, if someone is Dan's 
uh, son, that's Chris Keller. Like, he's just like him. Oh, my God. Anyway, so, I hate him. But we're going to continue. I'm going to watch one more episode. I'm going to try to squeeze in one more episode. Because I still have to watch The Magicians, The Mandalorian, Blooming to You. I have to watch all those three. So, that's one hour, two hours. Just went through three hours. And then, oh, my God, it's going to be like 11 by the time I finish. Oh, my God. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys continue to support for more. Give a lot of thumbs up if you love One Tree Heal. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Go to Patreon. Patreon to watch the extended version. Continue to support for more. And yeah, if you're on Patreon, you're about to watch another episode from me. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, just check the schedule. It might, it might say when I'm going to blow the next one. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoy it, And I'll see you guys next time. Ow. Next time for another episode of One Tree Hill. Mwah. Bye, guys.